Yo, what is going on guys? This is Breezy here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to, um, change your fan speed on your Xbox 360. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because, um, some people, when they sell you your Xboxes, uh, your JTAGs and stuff, um, they put the fan speed extremely high or extremely low and turn it completely off and just have it on auto. Um... So basically, what you need to do is download Freestyle Dash. Well, just go into Freestyle Dash. Um, it doesn't matter which one you have, the one that's for Link or the regular one. Um, and just simply launch it. And then you're going to go... Um, I'll show you in a second. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because... See, you can. I'm not sure if you can hear it right now. But those are my temps right now, which are actually really nice. Those are really cool. Not bad at all. And it's not even 100%, so that's really good. But the reason I'm doing this is because um, it, when you're playing like emulators and stuff, um, those heat up your Xbox more than regular, just playing regular games if you did not know that. And, I mean, it's... You can... Like... It makes sense, so I mean, don't say it doesn't, um, because emulators are games that are for extremely old consoles like um, Nintendo, the SNES, the SNES three, uh, 360. Um, well, 360 is this version, but I mean, all those stuff. Those aren't for Xbox. Those are made for their own consoles and from their own companies. So it takes a lot more power to work them because it's not on their actual console. But anyway, so your Xbox doesn't overheat and get red ring and stays nice and cool. Like that. <laughs> um, just go to your settings. If you don't know this already, this is pretty simple. If you're just uh, fooling around with Freestyle Dash and you come across this, you have system settings and go to uh, fan settings. And when you see it there, it says warning. Setting fan speed too low could damage your Xbox 360. If it's too high, don't worry about it. It's just extremely loud. See, mine's at, like... Like, see right here? This one's, like, 80%. And it can go all the way up to, like, 1-something. Or 100, they put it out. So I usually keep it halfway. This is what I got it at. As you can see, you can't even hear it. So I like to put it at about this speed, and then you can just press press B, and every time you go in a freestyle dash, um, your fan will turn on um, to that setting. Then you can just get out of freestyle dash and do what you want. Um, but when you turn on your Xbox, it won't be like that because this is the fan speed in freestyle dash. So you just have to load up freestyle dash each time, and you'll be good. Um, but anyway, yeah, guys, that's basically it. Um, Hopefully, um, you guys enjoyed this. This is just a simple tutorial how to keep your Xbox, um, cool so uh, it doesn't overheat. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.